Hey guys, Joe here from The Fantastic Life and I want to do this quick video to talk to you about using the pop top in the winter. As you can see, it's winter here and we get a lot of questions about this. We've used the pop top for three winters now and we're just coming into our fourth. So let's go ahead and take the pop top tour. The first question that I get is, does it stay warm enough in the winter or do you close the top and sleep downstairs because we have beds upstairs and downstairs. The answer is we almost always sleep up top unless it's windy. The cold has never been much of an issue um, as we have heaters, which I'll show you that work great in the cold weather conditions and the space is just so small that it doesn't take a lot to heat it up. So even if it's zero degrees Fahrenheit outside, we still sleep up in the penthouse pop top. So let's go take a look at how our setup looks on the inside. I should have mentioned, sorry, I'm not mic'd up here. So if the audio is a little bit off, then that's my bad, but it's just, I want to make this video for you so that we can address these issues and it's snowing a lot outside. Inside the van here, now you can see the full pop top setup. And I'm going to talk about some of the issues that we have as well as some of the things you don't have to worry about. First things first is the heater that we use most of the time if we're plugged into shore power is this little cam framo heater and this thing does work it works incredibly well even down to we've been to like negative three and it pumps out heat no problem keeps the space completely warm we also have our diesel heater that we recently set up so that it switched to electric when we are plugged in as well so shore power but it doesn't produce quite as much heat and we found that this directional heater the cam framo is is better and here's the reason why right now as you can see it's on the floor and is pointing towards the cab of the van there because it's directional we're able to get air flowing into the front of the van and keep the condensation down because if we have the van heater that is not blowing directionally into the areas that tend to get more condensation, condensation really builds up and can cause problems, not only for if you decide to go drive and you have to de-ice the inside of the van, but it can cause problems for the electricals. We've had our lane assist go out, that little circuit board thing up there, we've had that happen, and condensation is just a massive problem. As you can see, the other downside of having the pop top is the condensation in general. And see that wet mark back where our heads go around our bed? So we'll take this cam frame with heater and we'll point it right at all of the places that get most of the condensation so it can dry off. But if you don't do that, then it will just continue building up. So we also have one of these cam Framo, uh, air circulators and we just leave that sitting right up there by the window to help just get the air flowing around the area. One thing to note is you can see that I do not have any window covers on the van right now. If you have those up, then it does cause more condensation that the moisture gets trapped in between the window and the cover. So if you're thinking about doing this in the winter, I recommend that every once in a while, maybe even once a day, you pull those window, cover, window covers down and let the air just circulate, the warm air circulate through and dry those windows off. But getting back to the pop top, if you do not take care of it with heating it up and getting airflow on it, then you're gonna get mold. And even if you do that, you're gonna get mold. So I recommend that you get any kind of mold treatment system. There are some of them out there. Um, I don't necessarily recommend one over the other. And you should also know that you're probably gonna discolor your canvas somewhat. And we've kind of come to the conclusion that we'd rather not have mold and not worry about discoloring. So if it gets a little bit discolored, and you can see some of those discolorations up there on the canvas at the top, but that's about all it does. And maybe by the end, or you know, at some point we're just gonna have it put all over the canvas so the canvas just changes color and that's totally fine as well. So this space up here doesn't have any issues staying warm in the winter, whether we're in you know Colorado, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, whatever. 
we just keep this thing pumped up. Um, like I mentioned, we do have that diesel heater that for us is down here, down below, installed by Momentum Vans. And that, when the diesel is on, it also blows out more heat than if we're just using the, the electric version of that. So think shore power, we have the Camframos plugged in, the circulator and the blower. And when we are not plugged in, we use the diesel heater that is super efficient, super powerful. Just make sure if you have one, you get it serviced regularly. I think it's supposed to be like every one and a half to two years. If you don't do that, you might end up at Winter Park like we were and have the diesel heater shut down when it's really cold out. And that's not a fun way of having, or a fun way of spending a night or day at snowy conditions. The other thing, last thing, I've mentioned this in a video before, but I think it's worth mentioning, is that at some point, we got our glycol lines extended. So glycol is the heating lines that they use typically for hot water in these vans so that you can have you know hot, hot water on demand. So we had those lines extended by Momentum vans so that they are in the walls. That's why I'm sitting down here. It runs through the wall here and actually underneath the bench seat here, it runs in there as well. You can't really see it, but I'm just showing you for purpose of knowing where it is. So those lines run through there and along our, our water pipes so they don't freeze in the winter. Because one of the major things is that the water would freeze inside of the van, even though it's very well insulated in the winter when it got below 15 degrees. So now we have this hot water switch or circulation switch that we flip on and the glycol gets circulated and what that does is keeps the pipes in the walls warm so it doesn't freeze when it gets below 15 degrees. So an awesome way of keeping those things warm. And maybe one last thing is that we got some of that heating tape and wrap it around our gray water tank when we're on shore power and then plug it into directly to the shore power. So it is uh, snaked around our gray water tank as best we can to keep that thing flowing so that you don't get backed up on gray water because that tank is sitting outside of the van. Super easy, we just went and bought, I think it's like a 20 foot piece of the tape that you would wrap around pipes in the winter and wrap it around the gray water tank and it tends to work. It's not great, but it tends to keep things flowing if you have it on there before a big piece of water freezes in the tank, if that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, I think that is all that we do to winterize this van. Oh, sometimes we also put antifreeze in the gray water tanks, but we've noticed that that will freeze as well uh, once you get pretty cold. So that only works to a certain extent unless you have a lot of it in your tank but if you have a lot of it in your tank then you're taking up so much space then it's almost not worth it anyway that's what we've found so there you go i hope this is helpful for you i hope it answers some questions if you have more more questions go ahead and put those in the comment section or questions or comments or whatever down below if you like this video please give us a thumbs up we would love it uh, and if you really like our channel hit subscribe and we will continue producing videos like this as we get into this winter season. I know that there's more van talk to be had as it's nice and cold because people tend to have problems with things breaking on the vans and things like that and have questions about them working in cold weather, especially with things like the pop top. So hope you guys enjoy this and we will see you on the next video.